Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and today we've got another mailbox. And I enjoy these mailboxes um, a lot because I wait till the end of the day or the next day to open stuff. Normally, when it comes in, use my mail gets here in the afternoon, so I use as soon as it gets in. I open it all up. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Um, but now I wait until I'm going to do the video to, you know, I get them on all the tape undone. But so I know what they are, but I still enjoy getting stuff in. So let's get right to it. Let's do the big box first. Well, this is from, you can see there, this is from Neato Frames. Love those guys over there. And here, you know, one of the nice things, let me tell you right off the bat, is let me make sure that that's coming in. Yeah, you guys can see that. You know, they kind of give you some information, but they also give you the CLI custom motor mix, which is really nice because it just makes, you know, we don't do that a lot of times um, in clean flight or, or beta flight. But it's nice to have it because then it gives you, it's even more locked in the first time you fly it. So love those guys. Thumbs up. That was awkward. Anyways, what do we got here? Well, we've got the Neato 180. And this one is ready. You know, they come already built. Looks like we're missing a screw there. Let me see here. Is it in the box? Nope, it's not in the box. So um, <laughs> it looks like somebody forgot to put a screw in. Not a big deal. I have some of these uh, from other Neato builds. But I really still, this is still a really fun frame for me um, I, because it's nice and light. And uh, we're going to build this out to be something of a really fast, light, little setup with some 2205 motors. And um, once we're all, once everything's all said and done with this, this is going to be a great one to fly. Um, got the nice little pads here that are little landing pads that go right un underneath the motors. Um, I mean, look how beautiful. Just, <laughs> I just love their builds. You know, they look beautiful like this and then when you're done they still are all, everything's hidden and so you really get to have a nice sharp looking build when you're done that's that they also sent this really nice this is what we call what would we call this so the micro is the 180 nano this is <laughs> this is a nano Okay, so here's the goal. If any of you guys have one of these out there, I want one of you guys to build it up. Try to figure out a way, maybe put, well, six millimeter motors would even be big on this. But anyways, just a crazy thought I had come in my brain right now. And I say what I think sometimes, and that's a problem. Got this beautiful strap. Look at this, rubberized. I love a good strap. I don't know why, I just do. And then secondly here, let's get to it. This, I know where this is from. This came from T Motor. So let's see what's in the box. Well, we got our F80s. These are the 1900 KV. So I'm going to be doing a 7-inch um, kind of a retrofit where I take a 7-inch. Um, it's actually an 8-inch frame that the guy wants to boost the power. So we're going to put these motors and probably fly it mostly on 7-inch and capable on 8-inch. Am I totally moving that? I'm so sorry. Um, so that's why the that's why we're doing the 1900 KV because we're going to be swinging a bigger prop. Okay. I hate these things. I see these guys that just grab them and pop them right out like within second, you know, like they've done it a million times and maybe they have but let's see here this is a beautiful motor this is also going on my helix for my customer in texas for jason and so uh we're almost done with that so that we'll, we'll do a follow-up and some flight footage of that 
but this is a really nice motor. So this is going to go on the seven inch that we're doing here. And that's it for today's mailbox. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much I enjoy, as much as I enjoy opening them. Check out my website, xframesfpv.com. You can get an idea of the builds that I do there and kind of what I offer. And like and subscribe. You know, if you guys want to get get notifications of when I post a video, there's a little bell right next to the subscribe button and you click that and when I post a video, it will let you know. So Thanks again, guys, and I hope you get some time to fly.